what is going on fam so it's been a few days since i've updated you guys i think last time we talked last time we spoke i was sitting at six days out we're now currently three days out i just hopped out the shower looked at myself in the mirror and i was like yeah the look is coming in man we're starting to really shed the water we're up in the carbs the fullness is coming in slowly but the most noticeable difference is just my physique is starting to dry out which is exactly what we need so here's a look You guys can see the dryness is starting to come in love to see it man especially just after these you know like last few days which have just kind of been straight mental man it's nice to see like the body starting to react to just getting the water up pushing this excess you know subcutaneous water out um you know cutting sodium today and just seeing your body react the way that you want it a couple days leading up to the show man um so this is pre basically basically i have three meals in right now um i'm about to get the fourth one in 200 grams of rice six ounces of chicken um and i will give you guys a look after that because it's like usually like 10 to 15 minutes after i eat that meal is when you know like i really start to pop um so you know that's all just data that we're gonna you know use towards uh, this peaking process and uh, man, i think we have the possibility to come in better man come in tighter but uh yeah fingers crossed and the look is coming in man the look is coming in i could just come on damn if i could find her where she at Baby, I just told him the luck is coming in. Mm, wow. Alright, on that note, I'll see you on the next clip. right after this meal just went down. So yeah, um, optimally I'm going to, you know, just start kind of really filling out in the next 20 to 30 minutes. I, I definitely want to notice some very much increased vascularity, even with having no sodium in, the carbs are going to do their job. They're going to move. Um, and you know, just overall filling out of the muscles more roundness. Um, but I'm actually late for this show day haircut. And as you guys can see, the boy is beach blonde. I would say it's beach blonde, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like your boy, your boy looking kind of Cali, kind of Florida, kind of Soho, kind of surf, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm taking it back to like 17 year old dev, but um, I'm probably getting shit from my barber right now. Where you at dog? Uh, so let me run. I will see you guys in the next clip. I am blessed, happy, and relieved to be in this position, man. Let's get it. Three days out.
like since the last time we've seen each other was we're sitting at two days out and I can't even say that it's like some hours. I can I think I can say we're like forty eight hours or less. I can't do math my head, but the way I'm feeling, uh, confidence wise, the way I'm working, you know, just in my physique, I'm at a completely different headspace, a completely different look than you know, what I was updating you guys with in the peak week video, uh, the one previous to this, man. We have been doing a exponential job, making an incredible amount of ground, um, just when it comes to you know, achieving the desired look, which is tighter, drier, getting rid of a lot of subcutaneous water, tightening up, filling out. Um, you know, there's been a lot of variables to put. Throwing in a Remedex, loading with carbs, really getting my water intake up to really help flush out that excess subcutaneous so water that we have on it. Basically, I'm going into this show now around you know, a day and a half, two days out with a completely different level of confidence than you, know, you guys were kind of seeing me more or less mobile around about um, um, almost nine. Seven, six days out. But uh, guys, I, I wanted to keep it real through the whole process and just let you guys know it is peak week and just the mentality of an athlete again. So up in the air. There can be so many highs and lows, uh, ebbs and flows, uh, ups and downs, just a roller coaster of emotions, looks in your physique when you are you know, pushing this hard, when you are depriving when you are depleted, when you are pushing multiple shows. So, if nothing else, take this clip as this is why we push. This is why we, you know, make you feel like there is literally nothing left to give. And I have, I have had some days like that recently where I just felt like I physically couldn't go anymore, basically couldn't. That is when you have to keep going. When you don't want to the most, is when it means the most. That is just straight up and undeniable fact. Um, if I quit then, we wouldn't be where we're at now, which I am loving. Where we're at now. Going into the show with confidence, going into the show for good, going into the show with really good. I don't want to drag this clip on too long. I will see you guys in the next clip where it will likely be.